students welcome to the subject software engineering today we shall take up new topic that is mapping data flow into software architecture that it means that how the data flows in a system should be okay in turned into software architecture point number 1 Mapping method uses data flow characteristics to derive a commonly used architecture style. So mapping is a process, okay, where data flow characteristics are used to develop a architecture style. Point number two, a data flow diagram is mapped into a program structure using one of the two. programming approaches that is one is transform mapping or transaction mapping students whatever is the flow of the data okay that is converted into program using two mapping approaches that is transform mapping and transaction mapping point number 3 once a architecture has been derived it is elaborated and then analyzed against quality criteria point number 4 various architectural styles that were discussed in section okay of 10.3.1 of this same chapter okay represent radically different architectures so we have studied data centric architecture call and return architecture layered architectures all these architectural styles represent radically different means totally different architectures point number 5 therefore there is no comprehensive mapping that accomplishes the transition from analysis model to variety of architecture styles students as there are different okay architecture styles there cannot be any standard mapping okay that can be defined to develop a architectural style point number 6 in fact there is no practical mapping for some architectural styles point number 7 the designer must approach the translation of requirement to design for these styles by using techniques discussed in architecture design okay the so designer okay who is translating the requirement to the design must use various architecture design techniques point number 8 the structure design is often characterized as data flow oriented design method as it provides a convenient transition from data flow diagram to software architecture so students there is something called a structure design which is okay developed in the latest technology which will help us to convert data flow diagram into software architecture the type of information flow is driver for mapping approaches okay so how the information flows that decides mapping approach now we'll take <coughs> there are two types of information flow they are transform flow and transaction flow more about this we'll study in the next session okay so i just introduce you to the mapping okay please write this in your notebook thank you